What happens if you cross the Z pond slider with the re macro slider? You get this. This is the Myops Slider Plus, but it's not all good news. The Myops contacted me and asked me to take a look at their Slider Plus. They've sent it me free of charge. I do get to keep it after this review, but they don't get any input into this video. This will be my true, honest opinion on this slider, and I am about six months late getting this review out because of some issues I've been having with the slider. But we'll get into that later on in the video. Let me just run over some of the information and the tech specs with this slider. Basically, it's a cross between a video slider like this Zepon micro slider and a focus stacking slider like this Re macro one. So what we have here is a two in one slider which is great if you are one of those people who can't decide if you want to put your money onto a video slider or a focus stacking slider, this one will do both. So some quick specs of this slider. The length of the slider is 40 centimeters long with a travel distance of 30 centimeters. Speed of the slider is up to 100 centimeters a minute with a step resolution of 1.41 micrometers. I'm going to briefly talk about the video side of the slider, then we'll talk about the focus stacking. So this slider is only supported for horizontal movement. So if you want to put your camera into a vertical position to move up or down, this slider won't do that. Now, to be fair, I haven't done that type of movement with my z very often, so it wouldn't really affect me that much for that. But we can do the exact same thing that we can do with our z -pon. And again, you're getting a two-in-one. It can also do time lapses and things like that. You can control it with an app, which we'll get onto in a minute. So when it comes to the video side of things, it's not as robust as the z -pon. You can't put as much weight on it as the z -pon, but it's perfectly adequate for any mirrorless camera that's out there on the market today. So let's talk about this slider for focus stacking, and let's talk about why it took me so long to get this review out. So the slider comes in a nice hard case, when you check out on the website, you select the camera system you use. It will also ship you a shutter release cable for your system. In my case, that's the Canon EOS R system. Initially, when you get it out of the box, it feels heavy. It's got a good weight to it. It's got a tripod mount on the bottom if you want to mount it to a tripod. And my issue when I first got it out of the box was this. It's, it's not actually level. Now, if I bring on my we macro rail, you can see there, that's solid on the desk. And I like to use them by putting them on the desk. I put my subject here, as you can see in the B roll I'm showing you now, and then we just photograph our subject. However, with the Myop slider, it's not level. Now we might be able to fix this by putting feet underneath it. I haven't done that because I'm doing a review on it. I am quite frankly, if I'm buying this slider, I shouldn't have to mod it to make it work on a desk. So what happens here is, as the slider's moving, if it crosses over the center of gravity, the slider will move very slightly. And on a high magnification stack, that just ruins the stack. Now I've had about three images ruined by this. But again, we can get around it by properly putting some little feet on it or putting it onto a mini tripod. So it's not a massive issue. It's just something you would have to mod or address when you get it out of the box. So this slider is battery operated. We have the USB input here. We have the on button and we have the shutter release cable, all very basic stuff. And we control it via their app. So we have to come into the Myops app. And this is one of the first issues I had when I first had the slider, it was in a beta. And there's no way I can do a review on a product where the software is in beta. So I waited several months for it to come out of beta. We connect to the slider, it recognizes it. So we are going to move down to focus stacking. And these are the options we have in here. We have an A to B movement, fairly standard for any focus stacking slider. Select the A point and we can move it left or right. See there, it's moving left or right. Click OK to set the A point. And then we go to B, we can set our B point, and you can see there the slider is actually moving on the desk, that's not a good thing, so I would recommend you get some sort of mini tripod foot like you can get for the Ronin maybe, or put some felt feet on it to stop it rocking back and forward, that's not good out of the box to be honest with you. Okay, once we're done there, we can go back, 
I'm gonna go uh, movement per frame. These are the step between your frames that you use um, for your stack. And if you notice down the bottom, it tells you how many frames in total there are for that stack. So for this one, I would have to put it up. So as you increase or decrease your steps, the frames in total will update. So you know how many shots you're gonna be taking. Now while I'm on the subject, if you're into this type of photography, if you go online and Google the charts, you can find charts for your magnification, your lens, and how many steps in micrometers you need to get a decent stack that's nice and clean. So do go and check that out. We then have the exposure time. So there, it's not in a camera format, it's in a time format, which is a bit confusing. It'd be nice if you could set it so that it's in a camera format, so 1 200th or 1 100th. Maybe that's something they can improve in the future. And our OK button now turns into a Go button which is very annoying because you think that's going to be, um, you know, you go to the exposure, you go to 0 0.20, then click OK to say that's the setting I want, and then it starts to file the graph, and it's very awkward. It'd be good if you had two separate buttons, such as a tick button or an OK button to set your settings, and then a start shooting button, so maybe that could be added in the future. The interval is the time between the slider moving and it taking the next picture. So what we do is we move the slider, we allow a few seconds for the vibration to stop and then it takes the shot. Once we start shooting, we are taken to a progress screen. Where it tells us that our focus stack has started, the frames, the interval, the exposure. We have the slider indication. We have its position in between the A and B. The length of what it is going to be sliding. We also have the elapsed time remaining time and the current frame that it's on and down the bottom middle we have a lock button we have to unlock this before we can see the stop button so all in all this is a very very good slider i mean apart from it not being level it's not unique to my unit i've actually seen some other reviewers that have said they've got the same issue so that would need to be addressed as well but overall the build quality is good the only problem is it's let down by the software. This software has let me down so many times that I initially stopped using it. I actually stopped the reviewing process. And it's not the hardware, it's the software. It keeps crashing. It's god awful. I've had several times where I've set it all up. I've clicked on go and the camera will move from my A position into the middle of the stack and then start shooting. I've no idea what that is about. I've had issues with the interval as well. If I set it to one or two seconds between shots, it'll work okay. If I set it to three seconds, which is my preferred timing, the app won't activate the flash. Very strange. If I set it to four or five seconds, it will activate the, uh, the flash. So I reported that at the beginning of December, and thus far, it's not been fixed. So here are some shots that I've taken with this slider. All the other shots have been edited in Lightroom and Photoshop and stacked in Helicon Focus. So this does have some advantages over my other sliders. Again, it's a two-in-one slider, so I only need to take one slide with me. The focus stacking segment is battery operated, unlike my Re Macro one, which is mains parent operated, which means we can actually do focus stacking in the field. That's a big difference for me, being able to focus stack in the field. Whether I would actually use it in the field, I don't know. The app needs to be improved for me to use it in the field. But I could see me going out early in the mornings, finding some dew-covered butterflies and using this slider to get some focus stacks. So who is this slider for? Simple. If you are a video creative as well as a photographer like me, this might be the slider for you because you're getting two sliders in one. So you know, you're saving on bag space for a start. If you're a video only creator then i would stick to a specialized video slider because that's going to be able to cope with more weight and you'll be able to do more different creative type of shots with it if you do just studio based macro photography that needs stacking then i'd stick to something like the re macro one because it's far more reliable like i said if you're looking for a slider that does everything this would be the slider for you it's just let down by the software, and I really hope that they can improve that software. So the question is, would I have bought this slider? I think the answer to that would be no. And I'll be honest with you, if I had bought the slider, I would actually be sending it back because of its unreliable app. Build quality, again, it's, it's okay, apart from this. <laughs> you make your own mind up whether that's uh, good or not. But again, like I said, 
if I was to focus stack in the wild, in the nature, this would be definitely be on my list for equipment. And I'd just have to put up with the bugs with the app to get the shots I wanted. A great slider that's let down by its app, which hopefully will get improved in the future. I want to thank MyOps for sending me this slider for review. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video, and I'll see you on the next one. So I'm going to briefly talk about the video side of stuff for this slider, and then we'll get onto the thing. So this slider home only and they will also ship you a camp. They will also ship. They will also ship. They will also ship you a shutter release camel. Camel. What's a?